Oh, and welcome to mycadsite.com. And here we are working on blocks still. And this is from tutorial 2-2 on mycadsite.com. And here we're going to make a block out of a chair. And this will be a dynamic block, which will allow us to rotate it using a rotate parameter, which we'll show you later. And here's the chair we're going to draw. I'm just going to quickly draw this just for practice. And here we go, just going back to AutoCAD. You'll see that we've got to draw arms and a back and the seat. So I'm going to start with the seat. Just draw a quick rectangle here. Uh, it's going to be at 23 comma 24. And just let me move that out of the way of my nice logo here. And zoom back a little. And from here, I'm going to draw another rectangle for the arm. And taking into account the radius, it's going to be 18 cross and 3 wide. So I'm going to fill it at 1.5 and choose the polyline option. And there's my arm. So now all I need to do is just move this to the midpoint of the seat. And now mirror it up to the top for the other side. So there's my arms done completely. And now just to uh, fill at the corners of the chair and once again using the polyline option takes care of it all in one selection. So there's the arms done and now I need to draw the back and the center point is the center of the seat also. And the back of the back has a radius of 17 and the inside is 14 so I can just offset that 3 inches. And now I need two lines that are going to be used as trim lines and I'm just going to pull them out from the center and go out at 45 degree angles. So I'm just going to use the trim command and I could just trim it up like that and get rid of it but then what I really need are some more construction lines to draw the ends of the back. So I'm just going to zoom in here and I'm going to use that line to give me the center point between the two ends of the arcs. So I'll erase that and now all I need to do is trim up using uh, those as my cutting edges and trim off the seat because that will be hidden from the back of the chair. And once again, do the same thing on this side. So just a circle from midpoint to end point. Erase my construction line. And then trim out the rest of the circle and the seat that's hidden by the back of the chair. So there's my chair. It's done. It's drawn. And I want to turn it into a block now. So I've started the command, B enter. And I'm going to do it just like I did in the uh, previous example. I have to give it a name. I have to give it a base point and in this case I just want it to be the center and so I made sure that it's at the midpoints and then finally select the objects and there we go now the different thing I'm doing here now is once I've got all those is I'm going to open it in the block editor and you'll see this changes the screen slightly and it gives me a list on the left it's a docked palette showing the parameters, actions, and then the block itself. So I want to be able to rotate this chair. So I do that by first creating a rotate parameter. And I'm just selected the center again and gave it a radius of 9. And you'll see that that will show up as a grip to rotate with. And now I need to give it an action to tell it what I want to rotate. So I bring the rotate action and select my parameter and then select all the objects that I want to rotate when I use this in my block which you'll see shortly and so now I'm just going to put the uh, action in the center of the chair for now using the same uh, midpoints using object tracking so now that's done I close the parameter and close the block editor and save my changes. So now when I select my chair I have not only a base point which I can use to move but also another grip which will allow me to rotate it and I can see that one is round, one is square and that just allows me to just grab that 
Instead of doing the rotate command, select the object and then pick the center of my chair and then rotate. So instead of going through that, I can just pick it and grab it and turn it and that's much quicker. So dynamic blocks can be very powerful. They can be much more complex than this, but I just wanted to give you a very quick example of how to create it. And if you uh, experiment and uh, work through the help files, you'll see that there's a lot of ways of doing it. But since this is just an introduction, you'll see that I've quickly been able to copy the chairs over using blocks, rotate them around, threw in my coffee table and I've got a nice seating area drawn very quickly. So remember to use blocks whenever you can. Remember they can be modified, made dynamic. Thanks for watching mycadsite.com.